Exactly three weeks until election day, you've probably already seen more campaign ads than you can count. And sometimes the ads might leave you with some questions like, can they really say that? Right. And here's our Abby Larico to verify. Do political ads play uh, by a different set of rules? Companies compete all the time, but you don't exactly see rival soda manufacturers, for example, exchanging digs or making dramatic claims like you would two candidates for office. Campaign ads seem to play by different rules. So we checked with political strategist Ben Knuckles, Professor Erica Fowler, the Federal Communications Commission, the Federal Election Commission, the Federal Trade Commission, and the Supreme Court to verify, yes, different rules apply to political ads than businesses and private individuals. It's the uh, art and nature of politics, right? And politicians have the right to make their case. The FTC's truth in advertising laws ban deceptive marketing tactics, but that scrutiny doesn't apply to political ads protected by the First Amendment. And facts, you know, can be fungible in some ways. They can draw connections, use buzzwords, inflate their own storylines, and make generalizations that may bend the truth to fit the narrative they're selling to voters. The Supreme Court has upheld its political free speech. I would say different campaigns have different thresholds for that. While candidates could sue each other for defamation after an unsavory ad, the FCC generally does not preview or pre-approve ads before broadcast or ensure their accuracy. After making a claim, especially about an opponent, spots typically cite sources on screen. Campaigns need to be very careful to make sure that the claims that they're making are accurate and defensible is their third party validation. But that's actually not legally required. I think it's a tactic by uh, campaigns to cite their sources so that there's at least something to, to back up what, what they're saying. Campaign ads must disclose on screen who's paying for the spot. Unlike most commercials, if it's funded directly by a certified candidate for office, broadcast networks like ours cannot reject or alter an ad. You can say pretty much whatever you'd want to say uh, on the air, and the stations cannot take that down. However, those third party funded ads paid for by supporters or a political action committee, Knuckles says those are easier to challenge. It happens more often. Other campaign ad rules include broadcast networks having to give equal opportunity to advertise to competing candidates, aiming for fairness on both sides.